What is up XRP community? Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. I want to talk about the breaking news that the SEC has filed to appeal the Ripple lawsuit. Stuart Alderati made some claims about that. And Edward Snowden, the guy that leaked a bunch of information about the USA spying on everyone, um, said some crazy stuff about the Solana blockchain. That's very popular for memes. But first off, Israel potentially striking Iran's oil facilities. This conflict is escalating and it's escalating fast. And it's going to be important to follow this to see how it affects the market because typically wars and big geographical political conflicts have a big backlash on the markets. XRP holders, read this and relax. We won the lawsuit. It's over. This is a money thing. XRP is not a security. That is not up for debate. I'm not saying that. This is what this guy is claiming. On the other hand, a lot of people are upset at this news, claiming now we're not going to have another all-time high until the next bull run. Similarly, how XRP didn't hit all-time highs in the last bull run in 2022 because of this lawsuit. People are speculating, oh, it's going to happen again because of this appeal. Attorney Jeremy Hogan breaks down his thoughts on the SEC appeal. He says, big mistake by the SEC. It will appeal the programmatic sales ruling, and if it wins, it will get more money from Ripple and protected no one. Ripple will raise its blue sky law issue, and if it wins, the SEC's ability to regulate the entire crypto space is essentially destroyed. Not a good calculation of risk by the SEC it would make a poor stock trader. This is an appeal by right, not like when the SEC tried to appeal before. The trial judge cannot reject this appeal. All right, so that's very important. You can't reject this appeal. The SEC is very, very likely to lose, both statistically and based on the fact-heavy way the judge wrote her opinion when she ended the lawsuit initially. Even if the SEC were to win on appeal, it's very unlikely just a matter of money. Nothing would change as to XRP and its use by Ripple. So he's painting this picture that this is just a plot a manipulative tactic to gain more money from Ripple. In a couple of weeks, we'll know what issues the SEC is appealing, and then it must file its first brief by mid-December. It will not and cannot be appealing that XRP is not a security. All right, so that much is clear. XRP is not a security. Importantly, watch for whether the SEC is appealing the injunction. A ruling from the appellate court won't happen until late 2025, early 2026. I posted it would take until summer 2025 a couple months ago. I was wrong. I refuse to believe that attorney Gruwal announcing he's leaving the SEC the same day the appeal is filed is just a chance. And he's referring to this right here. So this is the guy that started the lawsuit and he dropped the lawsuit with Ripple on his last day at the SEC. And this is attorney Gruwal, and he appealed the Ripple lawsuit decision from the judge on his last day at the SEC. Crypto meme guy says, I'm sorry, lawyer friends, but the legal system in the USA is just effed. How is this fair? On the last day in office, why are you making such important decisions? Doesn't make sense. In here, we have Stuart Alderati, and this is an important clip because he talks about what President Donald Trump and what President Candidate Kamala Harris are talking about when it comes to crypto and what they're going to do with it. Both with the Republicans and the Democrats, we showed up at the RNC convention, we showed up at the DNC convention, we have met with the Trump campaign, we have met with the Harris campaign. Trump clearly, and the RNC clearly, has been very vocal. You look at their... Um, platform statement from their convention, 16 pages, one paragraph clearly on crypto, saying we're going to stop the U.S. war on crypto and make the U.S. the crypto capital of the world. The Harris campaign has not been so public, but privately, they have said that they are interested in hitting the reset button. So I do think that uh, policy comes first, The policymakers in this country. So you have one candidate claiming to make the USA the crypto capital of the world. Another candidate who was thinking about endorsing Gary Gensler to be the head of the Treasury, but that's just publicly. Privately, behind closed doors, Kamala Harris is telling Stuart Alderati and Ripple, hey, we want to reset all this. We don't want to do what the SEC has done these past four years. Why else would you refer to it as a crypto reset? 
it was very hard to really trust these politicians. So I'll tell you one thing and then do the exact opposite. In the Uphold, you guys do need a spot to get XRP or Flare. Check out Uphold. It's where I get my XRP daily. I'll link to Uphold in the video description below. And also some news about Uphold. Uh, the CEO here, Simon McLaughlin, says you can now earn 4.9% US, uh, 4.9 interest on USD with 2.5 million insured. Okay, so essentially a high yield savings account. Uphold have become a neo bank. Guess who will be leaving his traditional bank? So I'm sure this is a trend we'll see in the future with a lot of these exchanges. Um, but what a great opportunity! 2.5 million in insurance. Um, you never want to park your money somewhere and earn interest if it's not insured, because that's a lot of counterparty risk. However, this is a cool thing that Uphold is doing. And right here, um, this was a really cool clip that Crypto Tank found. Brad Garlinghouse talking about the early engineers and the people who designed Ripple and also Bitcoin. So one of the things, Brad, is your company introduced XRP as a cryptocurrency. Um, who uses it and, and why do they use it rather than one of the like credit cards or a regular banking system? So first off, thanks for having me. Uh, great to be here. Great to be with Joe. Uh, I will correct one thing right out of the gates. Uh, Ripple did not actually issue XRP. Uh, the, the XRP ledger is an open source decentralized technology, not dissimilar to Bitcoin. And some of the creators of the XRP ledger actually had been early engineers that worked on Bitcoin. And they saw some of the scalability problems that Bitcoin is likely to have, the speed both from an energy consumption, cost, some of the other problems. And they, they wanted to build a better digital asset to solve some of these problems. So one of the things so maybe you knew that information, but I didn't know actual engineers who worked on the Bitcoin talk forums in the early days, worked in some of the earliest Bitcoin code depositories, developing Bitcoin, saw these issues and then came to work for Ripple because the white paper of Bitcoin, the whole reason that cryptocurrency was created was to be peer to peer payments. That's what Satoshi Nakamoto wrote in his white paper, purpose of Bitcoin is to be digital money. It failed in that regard. Bitcoin's a failure. Tell a Bitcoin maximalist, Bitcoin is a failure. They'll say, why? What are you talking about? It's $70,000 almost. $60,000. Ask them what the creator of Bitcoin said in its white paper was the design. Peer-to-peer -peer money. Ask them, is it peer-to-peer -peer money? No. So, in that way, XRP really does fulfill the vision of the creator of cryptocurrency, Satoshi Nakamoto. And this is from Token24, um, a conference in Singapore where they talk about crypto. And Solana, one of the most popular blockchains because it's really fast and scalable. Um, it had a big explosion the past year with the meme coins. And what Snowden says about it, I hadn't heard before. But very interesting. A lot stuff. of people, and you know, I, I don't want to name names, but Solana, uh, are taking good uh, ideas, and they're just going, well, what if we just centralized everything? It'll be faster. It'll be more efficient. It'll be cheaper. And yeah, sure, it is right. Uh, but nobody's using it. But for like meme coins and scams, uh, because if anybody puts anything significant on it, and then all the states begin moving towards it. Uh, it's going to be a, a system that has levers that people can simply just take from you. You have to be thinking for the adversarial case uh, as opposed to the convenient, easy, early case. I mean, that's uncomfortable for like... So Solana works, but it works so well because it's extremely centralized. And in the scenario where they wanted to rob you of your money, they would be able to. Something that isn't possible on the XRP ledger and shouldn't be on any blockchain, right? The fact that you could make a transaction and then not have that transaction be valid. And if you guys don't know Blockchain Backer, he's a great YouTuber. I want to leave you with this clip from him. He looks at price charts a lot, gives some good feedback on it. And a lot of people in the XRP community are really worried right now because of this ruling that the SEC will be appealing it. So I'm going to play that. Enjoy. That was a big catastrophic moment that happened. In this circumstance, this has now been four years and there was light at the end of the tunnel. And so I'll speak on that, on everybody's disappointment and frustration because I'm there with you. This has been going on for a very long time and people are having to make a decision on whether or not is this going to continue going on for a very long time. 
and whether or not they're willing to go on that ride with it. That's disheartening. That's difficult. I don't have the right answer for everybody on that. And I want to let you know that any feelings that you are having of disappointment, frustration, feeling like this will never end, all of your feelings are absolutely valid. But markets don't have time to sit here and worry about our feelings. The show always goes on. So what I actually want to talk about in here on this price chart is actually things I've been talking about for the past week here on the YouTube channel. And this couldn't come at a more timely moment based on the things that we have been talking about with the breadth opening up. And as we've been talking about in here with accumulation schematics happening throughout the market, the last video that I put out specifically talked about these and how these accumulation schematics can look and having to work through that process before the market can turn itself back up. We talked all about different recovery structures in that video. I strongly suggest checking it out. Again, I am in the belief camp that the price of XRP can only go into any type of expansion or moonshot or whatever you want it to be in the event that the rest of the market is doing the same at the same time, because that is what has happened every single time. But the discussion we've been having for a little over a week now has been about this accumulation schematic, right? We saw the breadth open up in the market that is typically marked a reversal in the making. There haven't been any false signals on that dating back to 2020. And we've currently just been working on now building a range boundary that we're going to have to work out here for a minute in order to get another breakout. And the consistent theme about any type of recovery structure that happens is that they typically will have an ABC correction within them, as outlined right here. Looking down here at the bottom of the screen, eventually that once we come in and take out that floor, that is how we wrap up accumulation to then go back up and then start working on like a sign of strength phase to happen over in here. But before that, we will ABC, we'll take out the floor. For those who are here through 2022 and 2023, this is essentially exactly what we were going through. This is when we were talking about heading into the cruel summer. This is where the breadth markings show up for the first time in here, signaling a bottom. We then go on into an A, B, C correction. Notice it swipes out the floor happening in here, and then it goes into a sign of strength phase, and whoop, out it goes. I've shown other examples of that down in here, that even in these, right, you can actually be right there and then still have another push up to end up happening. And then we have to A, B, C our way down in here, take out that floor, work over here, work on a sign of strength, and then you can eventually go into breakout. And that these are processes to come off the floor and then go into accumulations and then get your way out. So if you haven't caught Monday's video, I suggest you check it out. This was also the discussion last week on accumulation schematics that you either have the ABC long duration drawn out or you have the faster crash retrace. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for giving me 12 minutes of your day. I don't take that for granted. Let me know you made it this far in the video by commenting Ripple in the comment section below. When you watch the full video, it really supports the channel. And also check out Blockchain Backers video. I'll link that also in the description below. God bless you guys. Until next time. It's funny. We always hear about a flip of the switch, a moment we've perceived to mean the start of a massive pump. But what actually happens when you flip a switch? The light turns on. Is TCRB the flip the switch moment? The moment where truth comes to light and the agenda is finally revealed? Could this cause the mythological price rise we've been hearing about for years? It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from mathematician Andrew Wiles. Perhaps I could best describe my experience of doing mathematics in terms of entering a dark mansion. One goes into the first room and it's dark, really dark, and one stumbles around bumping into furniture. Gradually, you learn where each piece of furniture is, and finally, after six months or so, you find the light switch, and suddenly, it's all illuminated, and you can see exactly where you are. So maybe, if TCRB is the flip-the-switch moment, it simply means the truth will come to light, and instead of being a grand finale all-time high moon date, that instead, it will serve as the beginning to a sustainable rise and true education, not relentless market-making lies about technology we've known all along has been chosen.